Hey guys, I have a quick question. Are you wondering about the difference between an abolishing operation and a motivating operation and when to use either strategy? Well, I'm here to help. Like and subscribe to this channel because I put out videos just like this every week to help you better understand autism and ABA. Well, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to discuss the difference between an abolishing operation and a motivating operation. So an abolishing operating is something you do that makes a motivator less reinforcing or a reinforcer less motivating. So you would use an abolishing operation when you want to decrease a behavior. So let's just say, for example, a child really loves to run around and he really loves to like play and you're trying to do a session and you need the child to sit down at the table because they're doing academic things. You want them to look at flashcards, but they keep getting up and running around. Well, in this example, you would want to use an abolishing operation to make the getting up and running around during the session less reinforcing. So what you might do is you might have the child go run and play on the swing set for an hour before the session because then they'll get that out of their system, they're less tired, and they're going to be more less motivated by getting up and running around. So an abolishing operation, you're going to use that when you're trying to extinguish a behavior. On the other hand, a motivating operation is something you're going to do to make a reinforcer more reinforcing or more motivating. So what you're going to do is you're going to deprive a child of that reinforcer. So let's just say, for example, the child really, really loves cookies. Well, they when they come home from school, don't give them a cookie right before their ABA session. You know, make them wait to eat that cookie until they're in their session. That way they can have that cookie and it's more motivating, right? Because it would be less motivating if they had already eaten it. So making them wait to eat it, well, that's a motivating option operation. It's making a behavior more reinforcing. So you're going to be using a motivating operation when you want to increase increase the value of a reinforcer. So if you're trying to teach a skill, you're going to use a motivating operation. So I really hope that helps you understand the difference between an abolishing operation and a motivating operation. If you have a question you want me to answer, head over to my website, hopeeducationservices.com. There's a contact form right on the homepage, fill it out, and I'll make sure I make a video to get your question answered.